All right, y'all, welcome back to Coming Arms Channel. Okay, so today we're checking out a country that we haven't checked out previously, and that is going to be Greece, more specifically Greek Special Forces. You guys know if I'm checking out a country for the first time, the Special Forces are a good start to checking out some of the military units because we can get a good idea of what sort of mission, what sort of operations, what sort of terrain these guys are used to operating in. So just judging by the description, there are a few units that are going to be in this specific montage video, and that's going to be the Amphibious Raiding Squadron Special Parachute Section. So I'm guessing that's going to be like uh, the Paras or Airborne. 34 Special Operations Squadron, UDT, um, so kind of like SEALs, First Raider Paratrooper Brigade, and then something else. So looks like there's going to be a few, even maybe some stuff from the uh, the Coast Guard and police. So of course, if you guys can assist in identifying some of the units, especially if we start talking about one more specifically in this video, then let me know down in the comment section because it'd be nice to maybe check out some of these units individually. But yeah, should be cool. Greek Special Forces. I don't really know what to expect, but I'm excited. Let's check it out. Okay, so I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting some mixed signals already. Um, so I don't know who this guy is, but he looks a lot less uh, high speed than these dudes here. But let's see. So I guess this would be maybe like the Navy SEALs or something. These guys look pretty freaking high speed. He's got like a multicam balaclava too with the dual tube night vision and uh, Peltors and whatnot. And then this might be just like a, a different sort of team, maybe like some other boarding team but okay mp5s are nice okay we got some glocks some m4s i guess whoa all right so with these montage videos we're going to have to pause them every now and again this is an interesting training um <laughs> it seems like these are like perfectly in place so they could like take cover behind them so they, they got the rafts set up. I guess the smoke is sort of like for obscuration for, you know, the rafts coming in. And then they're kind of just getting in line um, by a road, maybe. Interesting. Okay. Those guys are high speed. All right. So some... I guess these would be the parachute guys. Yep. Oh, I like these guys. These must be the special police or something. Yeah, I love seeing dudes with like freaking ballistic shields. That's pretty cool. So it looks like, what did it say? OEA or something? Okay. And then, of course, they, they got the shots of them coming out of the van. Nice. Yeah, some of these. Oh, is that Marpat? The camouflage? Okay, it looks like they have their own like pretty nice facility as well. We're seeing a pretty big difference in like what we're seeing here. These guys, um, some of this footage might be pretty old. Some might be more newer than others. So we could just be seeing the same units multiple times, but like older footage where it shows like some older gear. These guys I would imagine are, you know, the SEALs or like the UDT guys. Um, but yeah, we saw the Paras and then... Obviously, we see a bunch of maritime stuff and sort of the amphibious stuff. So maybe this is that first unit that we talked about. <laughs> They're just bounding by uh, by the coast in the open. Yeah, see, these guys are freaking high speed, though. They're doing the fast roping and everything. Hmm. There's a pretty big disparity with some of these. Nice, okay. Again, it's just cool seeing all the different terrains and whatnot, which you'd be kind of surprised, I mean, in, in one specific country, even if, if it's like a smaller country, you'd be surprised all the different like sorts of biomes and terrain that they actually have. I mean, here in the United States, we have pretty much everything you could ask for. Deserts, we have mountains, we have swamps, and we have everything in between. So we have a lot, it's just I don't really see a whole lot of footage of US training, so I guess I don't really see a whole lot of this. Are they going backwards? Oh man, that rifle is beautiful. 
What I shouldn't do, I will fight. I know I'm emotional. Hmm. So some have some small boats, some have like uh, some of the rafts, like the rigid rafts. Nice. Yeah, and we're also seeing a, do a lot of different uniforms as well. Okay, like seeing the repelling, I gotta say, it looks really cool on video. But you know, repelling isn't really going to be used a whole lot, especially for like actual operations, like something like this. It's very specific. This might be like a Coast Guard or something. Um, but as far as like tactically repelling into an area or an operation, probably not going to happen so much, especially when you can just fast rope in. That's sick. They're blurring a lot of stuff out. <laughs> Okay, a lot of different helicopters as well. I'm, I'm liking the urban training though. Some of this might actually be like live operations though too, which not sure. Of course, if you guys recognize any of the stuff going down in the video, let me know. Nice. So I don't know, I don't know what to think. Like, now I'm not exactly sure where Greece actually stacks up as far as how much money they make compared to other countries and also how much money they're putting into their military. Cause even if their GDP is like super high, their military might not reflect it, especially just where they are geographically speaking or what kind of operations or deployments they're involved in or peacekeeping missions. The military might not necessarily reflect that cause they might not need to push so much money into the military. So. We've, we're seeing a lot of different things as far as the different helicopters, you know, the different operations, the tactics and sort of methods that these guys can use, but it's not really anything crazy. It's pretty much what we've seen in a lot of different montage videos. And that's pretty much going to be a standard when you're talking about all these different units involved. It's, it's when you get into one specific unit, like their tier one equivalent. When you start looking at that and comparing that, then it's a little bit easier, but it is giving us a pretty good sort of flavor for what these guys might be responsible for doing. <laughs> that was cool. I'm always curious about like the underwater footage. If it's like seal stuff or... I mean, we've seen like maritime EOD kind of stuff as well. Nice. I love this footage here. So they got suppressed MP5s. Yeah, this looks like real world ops. It seems like they're blurring everything. Ooh, what was that? I don't know. I, I thought I saw a P90. And it's... Ah, yes. Oh, man. Okay, good choice. I wonder who these guys are. So, it looks like they're responsible for airports. So, it might be like a federal police or something. Dang, okay. Nice P90, dude. Yep, and then you always gotta have the, the people who take down the buses really high speed, like... <laughs> okay, super cool. Again, very similar to a lot of the other montage videos. I mean, a montage video isn't going to really be the, the best indication, but it gives us the most exposure to all of these different units and all the stuff that they you know train on or the different locations they actually train in. So pretty cool. Again, we saw the repelling, we saw fast roping, we saw a lot of CQB stuff, which is kind of cool. I'm not sure how like urban Greece is as far as like how built up it is. But if they don't have a whole lot of like wide open areas or even like forests or what have you, we're not going to see a whole lot of training. And we didn't see a whole lot of training like that, you know, focused around, you know, woodlands and what have you. Especially if you see some stuff out of Finland, it's going to look very, very different, which of course makes sense just talking about like the, the geographical locations of each. But yeah, okay. Very cool. Of course, if you guys have any other Greek military units to recommend, throw them down below. I think maybe checking out the Greek Marines, because I imagine they have some sort of, you know, equivalent to the to the to our U.S. Marines. Checking those out would be cool because the Royal Marines are like a step above the U.S. Marines. And then the German Marines kind of just have like a completely different mission. But then we also have the Dutch Marines, which sort of operates very similarly to the U.S. Marines, it seems. But they're, you know, their gear 
isn't as nice because they don't get as much funding, I'm sure. So we see a lot of similarities and differences. So maybe the Marines are the next best unit to check out. But of course, if you guys have any recommendations, throw them down below. I'm open to check out anything, especially like special police, because I'm sure we saw a lot of special police in here. And those guys are always pretty impressive as far as some of the capabilities. Because again, with counter-terror, you need, you need some good tools for the trade for that. And yeah, their budget usually reflects that. But of course, thank you guys again for watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I like doing these montage videos every now and again. I, I don't want to keep it the standard because sometimes it's hard to get a good grasp, especially if some of the clips are old. But it is cool. It gives us a lot of exposure and just gets us thinking about, you know, some of the stuff that we're actually seeing in here. But thank you guys for watching. That is it for this video. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.